Hello everyone, my name is James. Coming got some more Halo 4 information. Really quick, we're playing Halo Reach. This is SWAT. Me and Pink Ranger, Slippy. We uh, own it up pretty good. So anyway, let's get started. Um, so information just surfaced again. Uh, Spartan Ops apparently is debuting at E3. I you know that, that is kind of obvious. I mean, E3 is the humongous gaming. It's like the Super Bowl for games. And uh, yeah, I cannot wait till E3. Uh, you know, like three for three has been constantly saying, "Oh, we got a bunch of news coming up for Halo 4." I'm hoping for some campaign info. But Spartan Ops will debut at E3. And once again, all the links to these are in the description below. Next up is the Railgun. It's, 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 it's been explained by 343 Industries as um, it's not really good against vehicles like the Spartan Laser. However, it takes tw it, it's twice as quick to charge up as the Spartan Laser, which it does require to charge up. Um, and w when it goes against vehicles, it doesn't really you know destroy them like a laser. It kind of like bounces them off like the brute shot. Overall, the uh, railgun looks pretty cool, and I can now wait to see a first-person view of it because I don't like the first time I saw the railgun. I'm like, oh, that looks really sweet. And I actually kind of thought that it, it, it was going to be like the plasma repeater, but like a human form, because I believe that the railgun is using forerunner technology. But it could be wrong. Next topic is this is actually interesting. It says, could the Halo 4 affect uh, the 2012 presidential election? I, I never thought I'd see those two in the same sentence. Um, apparently, Halo 4 comes out on November 6, 2012, which is also the same day as Election Day. So, uh, you know, like this article is saying, oh, could Halo 4, you know, draw a lot of people away from electing Obama or, like, the other people running for president? I find that hilarious uh, that a video game um, would actually distract the presidential election, which is funny. Um, but, yeah, I, I find that hilarious. Do I think it's going to affect it? Probably not. But if it does, I'll be laughing my ass off. The last topic today is uh, two new concept arts have uh, have been shown for Halo 4. I believe they're concept art. The first concept art shows a pelican flying. What what it looks like? It's like an upside down city, but it's not upside down. That's how like the Forerunner thing looks like, and it looks very cool. I can't wait to see that in the actual game. Uh, hopefully, it's actually in the actual game. The next image shows someone walking like this really weird hallway. It looks like the Halo 3 uh, Cortana level, um, except like without all the uh, flood shit on there. Um, don't know really what, don't know, don't know what to think of it so far, but, uh, I am, I am liking the Pelican picture. Like I said, I hope that we see that in campaign. That would be really, really awesome. I actually don't know if we're going to see it in campaign, but like I said, I kind of hope we do. So those are the four links of the Halo 4 news that I found today. I think the concept dark came away yesterday, but anyway, there you have it. Links are in the description. Uh, I recently made a new Facebook account. Uh, called JKP. It's like a fan page. I'll put that in the uh, description. I can put that also in the video. However, it's only going to be the link because YouTube doesn't let me link them in annotations. Maybe they do. I'm not a mission of a partner yet, so maybe when I become a partner, I'll be able to have that uh, functionality. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, I don't like saying subscribe. I feel like a tool every time I say that, so you don't have to. Huh. I really don't mind. But if you do, uh, I have a bunch of stuff coming up. I have a bunch of playthroughs. I don't have much right now, actually. I mean, I do have a bunch of stuff coming up, but they're kind of oldish. I have Final Fantasy 13 2, DLC, Deus Ex Interactive Playthrough. Um, I have an exclusive series on Machine Realm where I play Fez. I'm probably going to be making a Halo Reach Legendary Playthrough because I promised that a long time ago and I never actually did it, or finished it, I should say. When I become a Machine Realm partner, I have the ability to stream, so maybe I might stream something, which might be cool. And we might actually do a, a live think tank. But yeah, we have a bunch of stuff coming up. And, uh, well, and more Halo Reach gameplays like this where I talk about Halo 4 and other interesting topics. So once again, follow me on Facebook. It's JKP fan page. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, that's all for now. Oh, two quick things I forgot to mention. Um, I'm, I have Halo music in the background. It's something new I'm trying. Let me know if it actually you know works better instead of just hearing me talking about topics. or do have some little music to listen to the background. Also... Um, the lineup coming up, I'm going to be making the Final Fantasy XIII 2 DLC coming up. Uh, the Deus Ex Interactive Playthrough, since it's interactive, there'll probably be one or two parts every so often because it's interactive and I want to make sure it stays interactive. So yeah, FF 13 2 is coming up and uh, I'll look at the Halo Reach playthrough and I'll, when, I'm going to see when that's coming up. But thank you for watching and I'm also going to try this in every video now just to get a bit more out there. If you haven't checked out my latest videos, Final Fantasy 13 2 montage of me playing Lightning DLC is up. Deus Ex Part 1 of the interactive playthrough is up and also my latest Halo 4 video where I cover armor, skins, and emblems. Thank you for watching and have a great day. See you people in the next video. Bye-bye.